Well, it's an exciting time here at THV 11 as we welcome Marlisa Goldsmith back to our team. We're so happy to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. She is our new evening anchor and we wanted to catch up with her before she takes her seat at the desk, which is happening next Monday, right? Yes, next Monday, 610 at 6 and 10. That's what I've been telling. That's everybody. perfect. An easy way to remember. Now, many of you may remember Marlisa because she has spent multiple years here yes. as a reporter in the past before making it to the big times up in Pittsburgh. But home is always home, right? Oh, yeah. Home yeah. is always home. Well, tell us a little bit about what you remember most about your time when you were here in Arkansas. Uh, our Kansans were just so welcoming. Um, you know, our motto and our slogan is this is home. Uh, so this really became home for me. I ended up meeting my husband here Aww. and we went off and got married. Um, so since then I've been married, uh, kind of started a little family. And, oh, here's some old video of me reporting yes. in the snow. There's Ed pushing me <laughs> in the weather garden. Oh, uh, we didn't have any snow like that this winter, it felt like. So oh, maybe maybe well. now that you're back, it'll it'll come back. I hope not. <laughs> I tried to run from the snow. There's more snow. Is this all the video that we have? Snow footage. She was out. They, they put you snow. out. In the, I'm surprised you wanted to come back with all this, <laughs> putting you out in the snow nonsense. There's some sunshine. <laughs> yeah, I covered a lot of stories here, a lot of the big stories. One of the main things I remember is um, the resilience of mm. our Kansans. I covered the big 2014 tornadoes. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, they ended up being deadly. Such sad stories that came out of that. Um, there's actually one of the reports there from the tornado damage. Okay. But um, the stories that came in the aftermath with people rebuilding mm -hmm. and helping each other out. We've seen a lot of that with the flooding coverage, actually. Yeah. I'm sure that you can um, relate with the coverage that we've done here throughout the uh, flooding mm -hmm. and people rebuilding and getting their homes back together. So I remember that the most. Mm -hmm. Resilience for oh, sure. Yeah. Well, what made you want to come home? What are you most excited about when you for your return here? The people. Mm -hmm. I am an East Coast girl, so <laughs> I, you know, Pittsburgh is kind of along the coast. It's closer to the coast mm -hmm. than Arkansas. Um, but the time there was wonderful. I loved Pittsburgh. Loved the opportunity that I had there. Uh, but this opportunity to get back uh, home, if you will, and get back with the team, Craig and Dawn, was a really exciting opportunity that I just couldn't pass up. Uh, speaking of Craig and Dawn, I mean. You know, Don's a great gal, but Craig, you're going to have to keep him in line. Oh what do you, how do you goodness. plan to tackle that beast? Well, first, I'm going to need a raise because that requires <laughs> a little more effort. Give her a bonus, y'all. She's got to deal with Craig, right? <laughs> I'm going to try my best. I have my reins in order. I'm going to try to whip him into shape. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck because when I was filling in, waiting for you to get here, it wasn't easy. Oh, yeah. We're just kidding. We love Craig so much, and we love you, too. We're so happy you're here. Thank you so much. And make much. sure to tune in next Monday. Marlisa, she's going to be on the anchor yes. desk. All right, Raven.